Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. I'm Danger Kitty, and I'm scared shitless. Alright. Let's, um... Where... I didn't go upstairs yet. Oh, right, because I ran away from the, the scary mutant guy. I hid back downstairs. Lost him almost immediately, because I am... Fucking MLG. Stop! Just, just stop. I can't make up my mind if I want the fucking... Why are you doing that? Knock that off. Alright. Picked up some sanity juice. It's always nice. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. Not happy about that. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. So I shall. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the Outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. But... Someone is coming. Hurry. I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise. Cool. So it sounds like at some point somebody escaped. But, um... Prison Northern Block. Well, I don't know if I need to go there yet, so I'm not going to. gonna hide out in here. Not not gonna worry about it. Just leave me alone, asshole. I'm not scared of you. Totally not. Not one fucking bit. Go away, I said. Oh, there's oil in the tinderbox. Sweet, there's a well, I'm glad I didn't just leave. How much more stuff are we going to get? Oh, that's actually good, because I'm running low on oil. So, that'll kind of balance out, I think. Oh my god, fucking go away. Leave me alone. Asshole. So, it feels really nice to actually be able to record in the evenings again. For about a week, I ended up working at Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare in uh, Scottsdale uh, here in Arizona. And my hours were from like 4.30 to midnight every night, and I didn't end up getting home until like 1 or 1.30. So the time that I would usually spend or get to spend recording in the evenings ended up, uh, you know, obviously having to be work instead. How's my sanity doing? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Well, I've been worse. Stop fucking yelling about stuff. Locked, however, the lock is very corroded and weak. I have a feeling that's a hint. Cool. I am going to shut this door. Hey, progress. Where is she? Where did she go? No. I won't tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Okay, so presumably that was about the same girl. Holy shit. Fuck you, physics. You a bitch. Well, it's down this way. More oil. Fucking gnarly. Alright. Oh, I thought my game froze. Are there things down here? Hey, 
robust padlock that is in good shape. Probably means there's a key someplace for me to pick up. So I am not doing well. So let's hang out here for a split second. I'm going to put some more oil in there. Yeah, that should be good. Yep, sanity sucks. That's okay. Hole is too narrow to slip through. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. I know how to remedy this. Yeah! Fucking progress! How am I doing now? Crystal clear. Fucking sweet! I didn't realize how much progress. Oh. Carefully treading the unknown land, he looked over his shoulder at his travel companion. The outrider touched the brim of his hat as a final farewell. Hey, dude, uh, just so you know, there's going to be a girl coming to look for you later. Just saying. Alright, so now we're walking through a hole. Through a hole. There's a fork in the... Okay, question. If a, if a kid and a mother dug this, why is there two separate ways to go? That's just dumb. Just fucking pick a direction and go it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't... That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why are you digging multiple tunnels? Why is this lit? Oh, because of that. Fucking move. Thank you. You too, dick. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Sweet. I think this is probably the first time my sanity has been crystal clear in a good while. It won't budge. The gate is locked and the padlock is in excellent condition. Definitely going to be needing a key for that one, assuming we actually have to go through there. Okay, well, I'm not going to go up the stairs just yet. Let's see if I can explore anything down here. Oh, kitchen. Great. I wonder what language some of these signs are in. They look like Latin, but that doesn't make any sense. Storage, huh? Oh, looks like I have to go up either way. Somebody else is throwing rocks. Isn't that nice? That's nice. I don't know where I'm hearing that from. That'd, that'd, that'd fuck me up a little bit too, I think, yeah. What's over here? This maze thing is really frustrating to me, I'll be honest. I hate mazes. Like, this is, this is complicated for no reason whatsoever. It's not like it adds anything to the game. Well, it's for his own good. Seriously, like, where the fuck am I going right now? Sure, let's just pick a fucking hallway. Soon it will be ready. Let there be enough time. I'm just gonna hang out here. Actually, I don't hear the music, so I think we're okay. Oh, tinder boxes. No. August. 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. What I'm still a little bit unsure on is why the fuck my diary entries are strewn all over the goddamn place. Like, there's no reason for them to be where they are. They just are. Holy 
Holy shit, it's right fucking there. Not a fan of that. God damn it. Holy fuck. Damn it. I thought I'd escaped it. Why am I still... That's not nice. Why do I still have to try to outrun it? Even though I already outran it. There it was again. This sucks, dude. This sucks so hard. I can't even see if it's there now. I will admit, I am absolutely terrified right now. I am not happy about this. Fuck. Fuck, man. Oh, fuck! Stop, man! Where the fuck am I supposed to go? You tell me where the fuck I am supposed to go, and I will fucking go there, but right now... You're just being a douchebag. So maybe I don't go anywhere near that hallway anymore. Maybe. Okay. Ah. Oh. It got really bright. Okay, not entirely sure at all what happened to that guy, but, um, okay. And down here, another note. Anything else? Doesn't really look like it. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. I probably would have packed my shit and left. Just throwing that out there, dude. God damn. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here while I'm getting creeped the fuck out. So, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning. Oh, my God. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Fuck. He's right fucking there. Oh, my God. This is... Fuck, these headphones. These headphones are so good and so bad. Oh my god. Please go away. Please go away. He's in this room with me. Oh my god, please go away. 
Fuck, please go away. I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for tuning in. Please stick around for more. Fuck. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace out.